Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about acoustic foam panels for restaurants and office spaces, what you need to know about them. Here's the issue that we have. The issue is reverberation. A lot of people think it's echo. It's not. Echo is a repeating signal. Think about a repeating signal over distance. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Reverberation is a summation of the reflections off all the wall surfaces. The harder the surfaces, the more the reflections are increased in strength, not in quantity, but in strength, okay? So reverb is how long a sound stays around in a room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. We all know what it sounds like. It has a direct impact on speech intelligibility because remember, let's use a speaker. Let's use a two-channel system. The direct energy from the speaker to your ears is the purest energy you will hear. You'll hear the most music. When that energy gets reflected off the room boundary surfaces, that's room sound. You could think about that as distortion. When you're sitting in a restaurant, all the reflections from the walls, the floor, and the ceiling are creating distortion, which decreases the amount of words you hear in every sentence. So if you've ever been in a restaurant that's very noisy and the surfaces are hard and you're sitting right across from someone, you can barely hear them. That's because there's more reflections from the room surfaces than the direct energy. So you sit closer to the person or you raise your voice. Raising your voice just compounds the problem because everybody's doing that. So now you have all these speakers, if you will. Think of a human mouth as a two or three inch driver. So you have all these speakers and everybody's turning up. It's just going to make the problem worse, okay? Look at the reflection graphic here. The direct versus the reflected energy. That's what we want. We want more direct and less reflections. So we have to treat these reflections. We have to use treatment to minimize the impact so that the direct energy gets to your ears before. Every surface area in the restaurant or office is going to contribute approximately 17% of the problem. And you have to have a lot of treatment on every surface area to minimize the impact because treating one surface area isn't going to give you a solution. A lot of people want to go to the ceiling, obviously, because that's a surface area nobody really cares about or concerned about and has anything attached to it. No ornamentation or windows or things like that. So the first inclination is, well, let's just treat the ceiling. Well, that's one surface area. But you really got to get 17 times 3. You got to really get a 50% coverage when you're dealing with reverberation. We've done a lot of churches and schools, and we, we see this as a good ratio to work with. 50 to 65% of the surface area must be treated. The panel depth of the acoustic foam panels will vary with the dimensions of the room and the usage. Let's look at this graphic here. This is a restaurant we did in California. It's a sushi bar. All of you have probably been to a sushi bar. So the sushi bar, you have the bar where everybody sits and the sushi chef interacts with the clients. Then you have the tables around. It's pretty much standard layout in all sushi bars. So you're going to have two sources of energy. You're going to have a concentrated source of energy between the sushi chef and the people sitting at the bar, and then a more indirect with the tables and the people sitting around the sushi bar. We've used our foam with our black wood frame around it, our foam frame panel, and we've hung it in various locations across the room. And you can see above the sushi bar, those panels are thicker than the ones around the listening and seating areas where people are congregating around tables. Less concentration of energy source, so we're going to use a, a thinner panel in those areas. But you can see the surface area coverage in the pictures. Extensive. And we lowered the reverberation time in this room down to about 1.65 seconds from 4 seconds. Everybody loves it. People at the sushi bar can speak normally next to their neighbor. They can speak to the sushi chef, place their order. Waitresses don't have to yell 
to tell people about the menu. People don't have to raise their voice to order. So this is what you have to go through. Now we were able, with our black frames and our gray foam, to integrate it into the decor of the room, as you can see. So that's very rare. A lot of times, you know, you can't get by with the cheapest, most economical solution because you have cosmetic considerations, room decor with the restaurant to consider. So you got to make sure that you're applying the right treatment to the area. Plenty of color and texture options if we're going to do fabrics. Fabrics are a great way to adjust the color and the texture to match the decor of the room. We have the technology available. Here's what we don't have. And here's where the whole thing breaks down. People are not available or willing to treat the offending surface areas. And if you're not willing to do that, you can't solve your problem. You just have to live with it, okay? Now I get it. They don't like treatment. It doesn't look good. It doesn't integrate. Well, you have to integrate it into the system like we did here with the sushi bar. Fortunately, the colors black and gray worked really well. But the foam is gray, and that's the cheapest way to install it. You cover it with fabric, your costs are going to go up 20, 30, 40 points. So obviously, since you have to cover a lot of surface area, cost is a consideration. And then the other argument is, well, the treatment costs versus the increase in revenue. Will I make more money with a quieter restaurant? We don't know the answer to that. Only you can decide that. How would you decide that? I would say you, you base it upon the number of complaints that you've received. If you receive a lot of complaints, it's too noisy, especially from older clientele. As our human hearing system ages, reverberation becomes a real problem. It gives people headaches. We've done multiple churches. We just finished a church in Alaska where attendance dropped from 200 to 50. The average age was 70 for the congregation. We measure reverb types of four and a half seconds. You can't have that with a mature population. People won't come. They can't hear. They can't hear the spoken word, and the musical word gives them a headache. Because with high reverberation times and a, and a more mature hearing system, you're going to produce a physiological response. And people don't go for that. <laughs> they don't go to, to church to get a headache. They can stay home and have headaches. And there's plenty of that going around these days, too. So it's always this balance. I got to spend this much money. Am I going to make more money? I don't know the answer to that. Only you can figure that out. We can help you fix the problem and put a cost to it. You have to figure out the end result. Here's the thing. The higher the integration requirement, the greater the cost. If you want the treatment to disappear into the decor of the restaurant or the office, it's going to cost more money. And this should be done at the beginning stages. When you're doing new design and new, new builds, integrating it in is much easier at that point. It's much easier to erase and align on a piece of paper than it is to move a wall around, I always tell people, in building a building. So you want to do some planning. People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. If you just do a little bit of planning. And I don't know why acoustics is always put on the back burner. I see it in churches, office, restaurants. Isn't it, shouldn't it be at the top of the list? You're building a room where people are going to speak. You're going to have music playing at a restaurant. Why do you have music playing in the background? to cover the sound of people eating, the munching. You don't want to hear that in a restaurant, so you have background music. That's really the reason for that. If you're retrofitting, you got to integrate the treatment into what you've done already. Now, most of the time, you're going to have to remove some of the items that you have in order to treat. You just have to decide how serious that you want to be about this, OK? Must treat at least three surface areas. This is what we're finding when we treat restaurants and offices. It's at least three surface areas. 
two side, two walls, two side walls, if you will, the ceiling, three side walls. The side walls are the most important surface areas to treat because our ears are vertical on our head. We hear in a horizontal domain. So the four walls we hear the most. So we want to try to treat those as best we can. If we can't, then we have to go to the other surface areas. But when I say each surface area contributes about 17% to the problem, it's really weighted more on the four walls. And I know those are the most visible. So those are the ones that you're going to see the most. So you have to decide what's important to you. Is lower reverberation times for your business or office good? I know in an office setting it's good. And OSHA really has standards now about noise. And they consider reverb noise. So you have to be really, really careful. So the more you have to integrate, the higher the cost. And the four walls, as we discuss, are the most critical areas that you have to treat. Fabric, which helps with the decor of the room, increases the cost drastically because you have to use a specific fabric. I, I hate to use the word acoustic fabric because it's been misused so much, but the fabric has to have a particular weave that allows for the air to flow through it into the foam that's behind the fabric. And there always has to be an airspace between the fabric and the foam to allow for that airflow to move. Now, what does the fabric do? It restricts the performance, obviously, because it's going to restrict the airflow. So you have to increase the surface area coverage. All this has to be calculated and designed for. So if you're building a new, new restaurant, a new office, make sure you take the acoustical environment into consideration during the planning and design stage. There's infinite number of ways to integrate in a new design. It's very difficult with retrofitting to get it to work. So a lot of people just end up living with the problem. Acoustic foam panels for restaurants and offices. Some step-by-step -step things that are really important to consider when you're faced with these two situations. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.